In this video, I will show you how to add the Metropolitan Division shapefile to our project. Then select out just the greater Boston region that we want to look at. Export that out and then do a dissolve and then a clip on the Massachusetts tenure data. So let's add the, uh, the Metropolitan Division data to our map. And what we want to focus on is just these two areas here. And if we kind of zoom out, there's lots of other uh, divisions here, that, but we're not interested in those. We are only interested in these two here. So an easy way to do this is just use the select tool rectangle and we will select this one, hold down the shift key and select that. If we open up our attribute table, we'll notice of the 100, there's 37 total polygons. Of the 37, we've highlighted and selected just two of them and these are the ones that we want. So now what we want to do is we want to create our own feature class of just these two uh, polygons. So to do that, we will right click here we will go to data export and we'll give it a name make sure it's going to the correct location and we will just call it we're going to make a couple layers we'll just call it this one greater boston region and then again make sure we go to our environments because again this is census data and so the only it does not have a projection, remember? This one has just the geographic coordinate system, NAT83. We need to make sure we assign it a projection. The reason why it lines up correctly on our map is because as long as we have defined a projection, like we did at the beginning with the Massachusetts, and this has a geographic coordinate system, it would line up. But any kind of calculations we do, we want to make sure we are using a projected coordinate system. So we can go down here and select that. We can select the current map, which is fine. Go back to parameters and we'll export that out. Again, we can look here. Here we have our regions. If we turn this off, so now we have that we can remove this. So now we have our regions, but we want to clip. But the problem is these are two separate areas. And we want, so if I just make this hollow, so these are two separate areas, but we want this to be one area so we can clip the census tracts based on just this greater Boston region. So what we want to do is go to the geoprocessing and type in dissolve. And we want to do the dissolve management tools. And input feature is going to be greater metropolitan region. Output is going to give it with dissolve, and we can leave it that way, or we can change it. You can also ask if what kind of field we want to dissolve on. It really doesn't matter for this um, application. So we'll click run. And now you notice we have one region, and we can tell we have one region because if we open up the attribute table, all we have is one row. In this one, if we open up our attribute table, we would have two. Two rows because each row represented the different polygons. So now we have our one uh, row, or excuse me, one row, which means we have one boundary, and we can remove this region. We don't necessarily need that anymore. You could always go back into, ca into our catalog pane and we can right click on this and we could always just say delete because we don't need that. That was just an intermediary step. So the next thing we want to do is go to back to our geoprocessing tool and we will put in clip and we'll use clip analysis. So this, if we put our icon here, it says the feature that will be clipped. So what feature do we want to clip? the census tracts. So we will go to our census tracts. This here, the feature that will be used to clip, and that's why we created the Greater Boston Region Dissolve, so we can clip that. 
And then again, make sure we are saving to the right spot. We want, let's call this, uh, Greater Boston Region. 2000 census tracts and get rid of all that other stuff at the end. So now we have this output that's going to be a feature class to our geo database and it's going to be called Greater Boston Region Tenure because that's the data for 2022 and the CT signifies that it's census tracts. So we click run and now we can turn off our Massachusetts layer. And now we have just our data for this region. So if we could put this above there, we would have our boundary, but we don't necessarily need that boundary either. So now we have our area to do our mapping for this area.